So two different fluids blow through two different pipes, and they both exit the pipes as free jets into the atmosphere. And the viscosity of fluid one is 10 times higher than the viscosity of fluid two, but the diameter of pipe two is twice as big as the diameter of pipe one. The question is, how do the shear stresses acting on the fluid at the inner walls compare between the two pipes? Is the shear stress for pipe two one-tenth that of the shear stress in pipe one? Is it one-fifth that of pipe one, one-half as big? Or are the shear stresses equivalent? Or finally, are none of these answers correct? A tip for solving this problem is to draw a control volume on both pipes, as shown here in blue for the first pipe. The external forces acting on the control volume are the pressure forces, P1 acting from left to right on the control volume, the pressure force of atmospheric pressure acting from right to left on the control volume, along with the shear stress of the wall acting on the fluid. So the sum of these three forces must equal zero, and if you get your geometry right, you should be able to answer the question.